Welcome to the Venice Beach Boardwalk, a place where magic, mayhem, and culture all collide here at the Venice Magic Shop. Brought to you by the Savvy Creative Podcast. I don't have to do this. I could leave right now and no one would notice. Just like when I left from Mojave. I have everything I need. If I don't say it now to Prima, it'll eat me up inside. She has to know that I don't let anyone humiliate me, especially mi familia. Damn, every time I come back, more tents pop up. The smell of piss, weed, and sobaco. Ugh. Oh, it makes me want to throw up. What's this? What are these? Shut off notice? Cash for your property in 24 hours. Sight unseen? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. What the hell happened here? What does this cardboard thing say? Stay away from the cat, motherfucker shady as fuck. Oh God. I forgot how crazy the tent people can be. Where are you, prima? You're the only shady motherfucker here. All these boxes. Everything's rotting here. Yesi! Yesenia! Yesenia! Hey, hey, do you know what this does? Ah! Who the hell are you? This statue glows at night. Scared the fuck out of me the first time it happened. Be careful with that. You don't hold it that way. But it's so shiny. Just look at it. What happened to the woman who was here before? That mean lady, she's gone. The shop belongs to my family, so why the hell are you here? Who else is squatting here? Ain't no one here but the talking cat. Oh, God, seriously. Okay, well, I need to be with my family's things, so leave now and I won't call the cops. Uh, cops already know I stay here. Leave! And this belonged to my grandmother. Don't break it. I'll tell you what it does another time if you just give me a moment alone here. Miss? Miss? Just a minute. Miss? Miss? What? Tell the cat he owes me for the chili dog. She's not even here. All the way through the Mojave Desert, and she's not even here. She left the shop for squatters, for scavengers. She got away. She got away from this mess, and she got away from everything. God damn it, for once, I just wanted to win. Yeah, she'll be back. What? Who said that? Oh my god, Gatito! Yesenia can't go far. And when she needs money or attention, she'll come back. Oh god, I'm hallucinating. I really shouldn't buy snacks off the boardwalk. Ow, what the hell? You still won't let me pet you? Shoot, get down! I live here, cabrona. 
You talk? All these years you live with Abuela, you could talk? Does Jesse know? Anyone in the family know this? Nah, they bored me anyway. How long have you been by yourself? Too long. I can't live in this mess. And I don't care if that bitch ever comes back. So it really was you that ate the chili dog. Cheap bastard. Could have got the extra cheese. I'll get you some tuna. Don't go stealing food. That will get you fed to the pit bulls in the tents. Don't buy the cheap stuff in the can. Get the albacore or the ahi. I want to show you something. Watch your head. Go ahead. Abuelita Chocolate? And her spices? I wonder if we can still use them. Rosaries, charms. Oh my God, it's us. What's this? These are all my drawings and scribbles. The spells for magic I wrote back in the day. I hid them so no one would find these. She never forgot about you. Even after all these years, you and your cousins were gone. If you just paid attention closely, you will feel her here with us. I'm so shocked she even saved these scribbles. She always knew you had good ideas. Why didn't she or anyone say anything? They all made fun of me. What they think doesn't matter. The magic is still here, if you can make it. There's years worth of stuff here. It could take me weeks to go through all these crates. How long do we have to keep the lights on and pay the back taxes? You got days, not weeks. I guess we just get it in storage and then I go back to Mojave. That's where you were? Why the hell did you go there? Wasn't that bad. It was kind of nice. I made a coyote friend. Los coyotes son pura basura. That's why we call smugglers that. Seems like the locals call you shady. As fuck. This is what you bring back? Is that a snake? Just wanted to keep the tail. You know how valuable rattlesnake tails are. And fangs. And skin. And venom? Damn. Never thought you had it in you. You were always the quiet one. I was lost in the desert. I wasn't thinking straight. Yeah, sure. You crushed his skull. You were damn near possessed or something. Cactus spines, gemstones. Have eaten prickly pear. Gross. You seem to remember your magic if you have all these things. You will use the rattlesnake at the right time. Not today. Don't blame you for wanting to use magic on Yesenia. Even if she is to Prima, she did you dirty. No. I just don't want it to get into the wrong hands. Prove it. Cut the tail off. Go ahead. Fine. Oh. Oh. God damn it, it's stuck. Oh, and it smells. I can't do this. You gotta stay focused if you're gonna make magic here. Learn to clear that anxious mind of yours. I'm taking my stuff back. It was a mistake coming back here. If we leave this shop, 
Hipsters and developers are going to find everything here. It's not just wall and roof, shelves and crates. There's a reason it's in this very spot. It's not like I have the money to redo this place. Don't you remember her warning you about magic in the wrong hands? And Yesenia was the right person to take over? Have you forgotten what a dangerous business this is? It's only dangerous to idiots, and power-hungry people, and narcissists, and maybe... It's dangerous for this whole family. Your grandmother was a legend here before she died. And unfortunately, so is that other bitch. I don't want the pressure of having to fill their shoes. So don't. You can't fill their shoes. No one will ever be like your grandmother. And no one should ever be like Jesse. But the new tourists and yuppies in Venice, the new people living in the tents, they only know magic from drug use. And the tourists just have never seen a place like this. You could be you. Seems like you have had trouble being yourself for a long time. I brought these for you. The cat says you need something from them to make your magic stuff. How do you keep getting in here? I locked the door. I know every entrance here. You went all the way in the water for this? The cat's always asking for strange things. Kelp, seagull feathers, and seashells. He's super picky, too. Well, you found some great pods and shells. They're not even cracked. You have a good eye for finding some quality magic items. You can't sleep in here or put a tent out front. More tents will sprout up and block the store. We don't have much time to get this place to reopen. Look, my tent burned down weeks ago. There was a shooting that same night and I had no place to hide. So I followed the cat in here. I shared my food with him and he's been hogging it ever since. If you don't pay rent, you gotta bring food. When I try to sleep, some crazy shit happens at night. I don't play with any of that. I like to be here because when everything bad is happening outside, it's peaceful here. There's no power or heat, but it's always warm. There's no electricity, but there's always some pocket of light and I can read the paper or one of the books I find. And uh, the cat and I play chess. Look, I still can't let you squat here, but I do need some help moving some of these boxes and crates. If you can help me organize some things here, I'll buy a few meals and you can stay inside during the day. And you won't have to scavenger around for magic stuff anymore. Oh, and she's going to cover the chili dog. Here, go get some more for all of us. Why don't you both go? We're getting the extra cheese this time. Get whatever you want. Just bring me back something. Go on! Is this really everything left? What do these say? Final notice. Ugh. IRS, of course. Of course, yes, he wouldn't pay the taxes. Cash offer. Hmm. We could take the money and run. I wonder why Yessie didn't cash out herself. Offices of Hames and Mayberry Esquire. Ugh. I don't even want to know what legal mess Yessie got herself into. Or got all of us in. Just like she always does. Why should I clean it up? I've been doing that since we were kids. Looks like she didn't maintain this place well, either. There's gotta be something here. There's always something to use in a spell. It's hidden in every corner. Maybe in the abuelita chocolate? Of course there's no chocolate in there. Pero hay palos de canela. I 
forgot how strong the energy here is. I can do so many things if I want. Ten-year-old me writing spells. I was so naive thinking this would work. And they all laughed at my ideas. Told me I had a wild imagination. That I didn't know anything about magic. <laughs> Actually, this one could work. What the hell? All right, let's see. Sea salt to cleanse. Have some candles. Sand. Paper. Let me draw this here. All right, now just focus. I forgot how warm this place is. With the right energy, I always felt strong here. Maybe if it's just me, uh, and probably Gatito, we could run this business. Imagine beating the fake spiritual gurus that sell cheap factory products. Most of the botanicas have been pushed out of gentrified areas. I know we can be the last ones standing. I could try one more time. We have less than a week before we have to make all these payments. What's one more week before selling this place? What's one last shot of standing up to those gurus and culture thieves? They're all the same. Developers, gentrifiers, gurus, and yesi. I can't keep hiding in Mojave. The thought of everything Yessie did to sell us out and ruin our magic with her lies and her backstabbing, I can't stand it! I have to get better at keeping this magic under control. But goddamn, I feel so strong again. My muscles feel loose and all the nerves in my body feel awake from my toes to my fingertips. I'm gonna run this place. I don't care what it takes. Nothing's taking the magic out of Venice. back and we brought you something look it's glowing again it's a good thing don't worry and how'd you get the lights to work we've tried checking the breaker boxes and your magic it's back sure is we got some work to do if we're gonna get this place open for business Now today's episode features Jose Santaya as Gato, Dan Leonard as Charlie, and me, Cristina Castaneda as Sochi, and music by Chris Gregory of the Alternative Stories and Fake Realities podcast. If you would like to support us, leave us a review on Apple or Spotify, and you can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can expect new episodes every other week from now and through the end of the summer as we get this first season going, but we have so many surprises in store for you. I can definitely promise you one magical summer season on the boardwalk. Until then, creative minds, keep creating, and may you always make magic every day. <laughs>